Alexandra Trece versus Tarna. Sino kaya ang mananalo? Pero ano bang nangyari sa comics? Makikita ba natin to sa show? Pag-usapan natin yan. Let's get ready to rumble! How y'all doing? My name is Ryan and I like to ramble about Filipino culture. So kung trip mo yan, please do consider subscribing. I post new videos every single Thursday. Pero ngayon, may series tayong papag-usapan so I want to welcome you all to Sinigang. Usapang pelikula na medyo sabaw. Last week, pinag-usapan ko yung official trailer ng Trece. At ang dami nag-comment sa posibilidad ng Darna vs. Trece na laban. Unang-una, ano bang nangyari sa comics? Now of course, spoiler warning, if you haven't read the comics, basahin mo muna tapos balik ka sa video na to. Itong Darna vs. Trece ay nangyari sa case 4 ng Trece comics called Our Secret Constellation. It starts off in the Diabolical. Ito yung club ni Trece na nakuha pa niya sa magulang niya. Kung fan ka ng Lucifer, and I know I make the Lucifer comparison a lot, it's like Lux, yung club na si Lucifer yung may-ari. We meet the bartender, Hank Sparrow, who's also in the series, in the English version of the cast. He's played by John John Briones, who you probably know from the Versace movie. Siya yung tatay ni Darren Chris. Basically, yung tatay ng killer ni Versace. He's actually a really interesting character in the comics. He has this thing na kung nagkwento ka at nagustuhan niya yung kwento mo, he'll give you a free drink. But he doesn't do that very often. At bigla na lang, may namatay sa club. We find out later that there is a creature hunting this group of guys. Mga manyak na may ginahasang babae. And then we just see this montage of this creature just killing this group of freaking manyaks. Tressa tries to search for him and finally finds him as he's killing the last member. The creature tries to escape pero hinabol naman siya ng kambal. An epic fight between Basilio, Crispin, and the creature ensues and Tressa tries to help using her Chris. Kung fan ka ng Marvel at ng MCU, it's almost like Yondu. She tells her Chris what to do and then the Chris follows her. The Chris finds its target and we see more fighting between the creature and the twins. And while Crispin and Basilio are firing at the creature, you see these bracelets. That the bullets are bouncing off these bracelets. And we're reminded of Darna's bracelets. And surprisingly, the creature goes toe-to-toe with Crispin and Basilio, who we know are demigods and are extremely powerful. Finally, they go back to the creature's house. He talks to his sister, and we find out his name is actually Ding. At may kinain siyang bato, para mag-transform. At sinabi ni Ding sa ate niya na pinatay niya yung ilang mga kalaban nila. Hindi sinabi sa comic kung ano yung mga pangalan ng kalaban, but based on the descriptions, this is Valentina. Sigurado ako na kilala mo si Valentina, yung arch enemy ni Darna. Pero kung napanood mo rin yung Vilma Santos version ni Darna, makikita mo rin yung Planet Women at yung Giants. Pagkatapos ng speech na yon, mamamatay si Ding, kukunin ng ate niya yung bato, and she becomes Darna one last time. They don't use the name Darna, pero alam na natin kung ano yung ibig sabihin nila. Because this case ends with a dedication to Nesta Redono and Mars Rabel, the creators of Darna. Before we move on, by the way, I highly recommend checking out this case of Trece. It's part of Volume 1, which you can buy on Shopee. Links are in the description. If you buy this, you'll be supporting local Filipino comics, the awesome Trece universe, and me. Kung ginamit mo yung link ko, kikita ko ng 10 piso. Alam ko 10 piso lang, but to me, that's a big deal. Pero kung wala kang pambili ng comic, it's on the official Trece website also, which I'll also link in the description down below. So moving on to the actual series. So pwede ba natin makita si Darna sa Trece? Probably not. Kung umaasa kang gumawa sila ng cinematic universe na si Trece, Captain Barbell, Darna, I don't think that's gonna happen kasi ibang publisher yung mga Mars Ravelo comics at itong mga Trece comics. But I think that they can do this story in particular. Hindi naman nila ginamit yung Darna na pangalan sa comic. So if they do this in the show, hindi rin nila magagamit. But what I think they can do is they can use Liza Soberano. Kung hindi mo alam, si Liza Soberano ang boses ni Trece and she was actually supposed to play Darna. Na-injure kasi siya, kaya napalitan siya ni Jane Leon. Kaya sa tingin ko, yung pwede nilang gawin, may isang scene siguro na hawak ni Trece yung bato, tapos bigla na lang na-injure siya at nalaglag yung bato. Kahit maliit lang na reference na ganun, I think a lot of people would be happy. But speaking of Jane DeLeon, her version of Darna is actually being made into a series right now. 
the movie, which Gerald Tarog will be directing, is on hold. If you want to know more about that, you can check it out over here. But the Tresa series will drop next week. I'm so excited for it. I'm sure you guys are as well. Be sure to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to do so much more Tresa content. I'll do a review, I'll do a breakdown when the series drops, and we have so much more stuff to talk about. But before this video ends, I want to give a shout out to Danny10 who commented on my last Tressa video. So thank you so much Danny for commenting. If you want me to feature your comment in the next video, just leave any related comment on this one. Alright? But if you want to follow me on my socials, I'm on Instagram at underscore Ryan Rosella, or you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash Ryan Rambles. But till next time, Peace and I love y'all.